Hello everyone, my name is Chris. We're doing something new. A video a day, every day, where I just, I don't know, I just play games, talk to you guys, talk about things, mostly Valorant, because I that, that's what this channel is mostly about. Uh, I, I figured in an effort to get me to upload consistent content, a video a day, every day, that's just not very uh, well edited in, in regards to where I do like a lot of actual good edit editings can't speak um i feel like that's better because more views more it's just it's better for the analytics to get me monetized so i can do this more so i can pump out more content for you guys simple i think it's pretty simple uh, point is video a day every day and I try and stick to that yeah i'll probably fail this tomorrow <laughs> anyways vct so we it's over edg congratulations you won the tournament not exactly who I wanted to win. Uh, I was really rooting for Leviathan, but Leviathan did lose to EDG and then Team Heretics. So whatever, I suppose. That's okay. The most important thing was the pickums. And the important thing about the pickums is that I am simply the best. What, top 1%. My pickums were fantastic. Now, the only thing that I got wrong was the finals i think right it, it it didn't count yeah all right i'd love to win the whole thing uh that that obviously did not happen edg won the whole thing but look at this my everything else i was just picking correct to be fair i, I didn't expect trace to get in here at all and i also didn't expect trace to it, I, I expect them to lose their first match but i thought they would win the second match but no they they just lost both matches whatever i suppose my uh my group pickums were not as good um i don't think i yeah i didn't get a single correct placement besides fpx um i i just know who expected trace to even top their group never mind make it they topped group c that was bizarre to me i was for sure uh, in my head i was like leviathan's gonna get first because i was team leviathan and then vitality who trace no one knows these people there's no way they top their bracket i don't know gen g not making it too was kind of crazy uh just weird they've had a great season overall i don't how the hell the hell did they bomb out i don't whatever i think the funniest part about all this is that talon did not take a single map but it's okay they played phoenix for whatever reason i uh, clearly it worked out for them all right i'm playing swift play so real. Be my pocket sage, real and true. Ooh. Okay, daddy. I got you. What? All right, we're in game now. I uh, got the ring light. I forgot about it. I got it set up. Uh, now the lighting looks a little better. Um, And I figured for a swift play match, we might as well play what I believe is the character that won VCT. Seol. Neon. God, this character is, it is something else, man. I'm not going to say the uh buffs to her back in uh what was that 8.11 i believe was the patch um i'm not gonna say the buffs there were the most broken thing on the planet but uh they were because uh that shit is ridiculous look at this okay i suck <laughs> but kong kong on neon was genuinely just the thing at least if not the best reason uh as to why uh edg won champs if not the sole reason was definitely one of the big reasons because this agent is go, go, go. busted once i get like a phantom or any you know real close range weapon in my hands i, I just farm because go, go. this is dumb and i don't really know how it made it into the game i hate to be this guy that's just a massive party pooper about it because I can't lie it is fun it's just it's just really dumb go, go. Look at that! He didn't stand a chance! <laughs> now, my Neon movement is not the best because I don't play Neon. Um, and while I'm pretty, you know, decent at the movements, um, my Neon is wow, its very out of practice. Uh, but Kong Kong just obliterates with this. It's like having a jet dash on crack. I don't really know how it made it into the game, especially in the same update that, um, you know nerfed raise you know specifically her movement 
I don't really know how it got in the same update as that, but uh, whatever, you know, it definitely spices the game's meta up, um, which is a good thing. I, I think the champ's meta was very diverse, at least in like the duelist uh, aspect. I think every duelist besides uh, besides Reyna got picked at least once during the whole tournament. Um, once again, one of that was uh, Talon playing Phoenix and uh, they did not win a single map. Um, uh, I'm just not as good with it, you know? I still had some play with some success. Um, Phoenix, no success, but was played. Um, Neon just dominated, especially Concon. I want to say some other people played him too, and just absolutely were frying with her. She's busted, genuinely. Uh, maybe not on like the, the you know long range maps like Icebox. She's not as good, but like this this map which is coming back, she'll be good. Any of these more flat, uh, closer range maps, she is really good on. She's definitely better than Jet and Rays in a lot of scenarios. It's kind of scary. And yeah, this map pool is probably not the best for her as it currently is, but um, Icebox and, uh, and Lotus are leaving. She was really good on Lotus, but Icebox, her... Her not having that is better for her, because she sucked on that map. Gotta go. Stop it. Oh God! Oh. It's just a demon. It's like what four in the morning? How are you this good? <laughs> I just woke up. I don't like <laughs> whatever. I guess. Yeah, I I. Part of me expects a Neon nerf because genuinely the slide is dumb. You can keep her having two slides. That's fine. And like the acceleration when she moves side to side, that's fine. It's just the whole, she can shoot accurately while sliding and she can shoot pretty much instantly. That's dumb. Yeah, I do. I don't know if they're doing balance changes when a... Uh, uh, in a couple days when uh, Vice comes out, which I will for sure be making a ton of content on Vice. She looks really fun. Uh, hopefully you guys watch the reveal trailer. Uh, that it was genuinely sick. She is badass. That's what I want from a Valorant agent. As, as much as I love Clove, it, they don't... Clove is not a very serious agent. <laughs> I like when my uh, Valorant agents have a little bit of angst, you know? It, it's a shooter game. They're supposed to be a little angsty. Rant aside, um, I don't know if they're doing talent changes uh, with her release, but if they do, I expect neon changes. Uh, it's pretty likely <laughs> and m even more likely uh, the other agent who has been dominating professional play and has been dominating the game for pretty much ever now. Your fault. Like, <laughs> your f oh, I suck. <laughs> the other agent who for sure is getting nerfs because he's been dominating professional play with an. I think he had a 60% pick rate at a. at champs, but like stage two, I believe he had an 80% pick rate. Omen. Omen is busted. Omen's been busted for a while. Um, he's by and large the best controller in the game, um, besides Viper, but Viper, while still strong, got, you know, gutted, respectfully so, but without Viper and Viper not exactly having the strongest map pool, Omen has just kind of dominated the game. Uh, he just is busted. He's got the best flash in the game. He has solid movement. He has, you know, uh, He's got the smokes, which are the best in his class because he can just create so many one ways that other players can't, you know, can't, can't make. Hello. Wait, I suck. <laughs> I'm terrible. His ult, while it's not the best, all this other stuff is giga busting. Um, we saw, especially from, like, EDG. 
Wait, you're better? That was... All right, better. 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 Yeah, he is... He's just the best in his class. And we watched EDG run these double controller, double initiator duelist comps, no sentinel, on... Just because of Omen. It was absurd. We even saw Clove get, like, decent competitive play. Uh, Smoggy was playing Clove in the finals. Clove is not a terror... Clove is pretty bad, I won't lie. Clove's not the bestest agent. Um, mostly because, uh, they can't... They can't sell a controller. When you have the... The, um... The Omen, you can run whatever the hell you want, because Omen is giga busted. Oh, I jumped. How the heck did you hit that? I want to use my ult and everything. Yeah, Omen just enables that because Omen is that strong. Um, so I I 100% expect Omen to be catching some nerfs uh, in whatever. What the heck? Why did it do that? Yeah, I expect Omen to be catching some uh, some nerfs very, very soon. Jujus, once again, all that is if they... uh. They decide to do a balance patch uh, this coming update, which is in two days. Hopefully they do, because there are still some agents that uh, I believe need some tuning. And now that champs is over and the tournament, you know, the tournament year is over, we can actually start fixing the the weird balance patches we've had these past couple of a uh, couple of days. Oh, there's also supposed to be those sunset changes tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Uh, the next update. That'll be interesting. Hopefully they do the right thing and make B a not post-plant site. They probably won't. That'll be funny. Right, I've been recording for however much time. I've ranted for long enough. Uh, so I'll let you guys go. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, sticking around to the end. Sure to like and subscribe if you like this type of content because there is going to be more on the way, specifically every day, hopefully. I, I'll try not to mess this up. I promise. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed my ramblings. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.